everybody, this is Coach Leanne Clay. I'm super pumped to talk to you about female motivation because this is something that so many people get wrong in the beginning. They become discouraged and they stop trying to be healthy. They stop trying to get that body that they wanted their entire freaking life. So first of all, the best thing you're going to need to know about motivation is that your body is special, that you're special, that you are a freaking rock star. You were created by God, first of all, all right? You were the winning sperm, so let's get that straight. You're really, really amazing, and I'll get serious really quick, and I've been, this whole video is going to be serious because the biggest problem with females when it comes to losing weight is that one, we don't believe we're worth the effort. We don't believe we're worth it and it really, really sucks because you are. You're freaking worth it. You're worth all of the effort. You're worth all of that sweat, all of that toil. You're worth it all. You're worth failing. You're worth trying again and again and again and again and again and doing it until you get the results you want. So, first of all, that's over with. You're worth it. So as long as you know that, keep going with this video. Keep listening to me. If you still don't think that you're worth it, I know I didn't, I, don't, I can't convince you that you're worth it. You have to convince yourself. I could tell you you're worth it all day long, but you have to convince yourself. And the second thing I wanna talk about, which kind of relates to the first one, is stop being so concerned about what your body looks like. Stop being so concerned about what your body looks like because ultimately, you want a body that can do things. Right? You want a body that can jump really high. You want a body that can be really strong and open up the bottle yourself, you know? You want to be this independent woman. You want to be able to do things, not just look like something. We're in an age now where females are finally given this amazing opportunity to be somebody in life, to change the world, to open their mouths and be something greater than just a body. So stop letting this fitspiration and, and, and your, your motivation be solely based on what your body looks like. Stop only looking in the mirror and on the scale for your results. Your results can, there are over 60 benefits to being healthy and working out and eating right. Over 60. How many can you name? How many have you been going after? This is real, man. This is real. How many things have you been going after that are gonna help you become a better woman? Are you just going for a better body? If you really wanna be motivated, you gotta get motivated about multiple, multiple metrics. Not just the way your body looks, not just how small your waist is. Stop putting these crazy things on your body and go and do the work. Because guess what? If you don't do any work for your body or for your vitality or how you feel or your energy levels, if you don't put in that work, guess what? You're gonna take it for granted and it's gonna go out the door. Now, something else that you really need to make sure that you do is find other females that are also looking to do this. It's great if you have guy friends that are at the gym and they are an inspiration to you as well, but find some other females because men, they don't have these crazy hormones that take them on emotional roller coasters. We do, it's just a matter of biology and the way that our bodies are designed. We're designed to be crazy, all right? We're all crazy. It's okay that we're crazy, but we have to learn how to control it. We have to learn how to use our bodies to, to really be in charge of what's going on. You guys have to think about all of the different, we all have to think about all of the different benefits that can come along with working out and eating right, right? So this is another thing that I really need to talk to you about. What are you filling your brain with? What are you filling your body with? Are you putting a bunch of chemicals in your body to get a shape? What kind of shape do you want? Is it a shape that's even possible for your body? Now look, you can take a little look. I have big hips, y'all. Okay, so I wanna to talk to you about what your goals are. If you're just totally focused on your body and you're filling your brain with images of women that you couldn't possibly ever look like, and now listen to me, it's not because you're not gonna put in the effort. It's not because you're not gonna be determined enough. It's not gonna be because you, you, you know, uh, don't want to stop eating cookies. You can do all that. Everybody is capable of all of that. Now listen, this is where it's at. Everybody has a different body. Everybody has a different body. So take a look at mine. You can see I got these big, big old childbearing hips. 
I got a big booty and I got these big hips, man, but I have a tiny little waist and that's cool. I'm a very pear shaped type of person, but I want you to go and I want you to look up what type of shape you really are. What type of body really are you? You know, and stop looking up to these, like I was looking up to these people who were like this big, like their hips were really tiny and they were just like square shaped. And it's, you know, I looked up to them cause they were like the epitome of fitness, right? But in reality of it, being really fit, what does that really mean? What's your definition of being fit? Now I changed mine. Being fit before used to mean I needed a six pack, right? And I quickly found out that getting a six pack takes a lot of, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I like food, I like to taste the food too much. And when you want a six pack, you don't eat, you don't eat for taste, you eat for fuel. And that's literally it. And um, so pretty much, I found out the really, really hard way that I could never ever look like that girl. I could never look like all of those girls that I was following because I had these big, you know, American thighs. I think they made that video about girls that look like me because I just got these big old thighs, y'all. But I accepted the way my body was. So another thing you really need to make sure to do and another thing we all need to make sure to do is fall in love with the shape of our body. Yes, you can totally get rid of extra fat because it's not healthy for you. It's full of toxins and all that crap. But fall in love with your body, fall in love with who you are and start being your real self. Start being the real you. Because the more you start being the real you, the more you're gonna be more comfortable in your own skin, the more you're gonna be comfortable in your own body. And that's the ultimate goal. The epitome of fitness for me now, my definition is being able to jump really high, being able to go on a hike, being able to walk up and down stairs without getting out of breath and killing myself, being able to complete a workout and pushing myself to the limits. That's what being fit is to me. Now, I want you to investigate your definition of fit. I hope this guy, I, I want you to post it below. Let me know what your definition of fit is. I want to know, comment below and you'll see all of the different all of the different responses that we're gonna get. I love you guys so much. This is Leanne Claire and I'm out.